is Thibaut for another animation tutorial video. So today we're gonna see Nishinomiya custom slider animation. So let's see how it looks like. So I have this slide, so slide one with a bit of text and a button. And I have my next slide sitting on the right and I have some arrows. So when I click on the right arrows, you can see that the slide on the right is slowly getting the full size of the screen. And then the next slide is replacing it. So same for slide three and slide four. I can even use my uh, keyboard, left and right arrow. Okay, so let's see how it's done in Bricks. So in Bricks, I have a section and my code. Uh, in the section, so I have my container and I have four slides and one div for the uh, left and right arrows button. Each slide has two div. One is for the heading the basic text and the button and one div for the image. They are position absolute. So I can position uh, anywhere on, on, on in the div. And so and each slide are sitting on top of each other. So they are also uh, position absolute. Um, one thing to notice the yes the basic text has a z, z index of one and the rest is okay uh, just styling um, and same for the arrows i mean position absolute and there are some styling so in the code so so the code is not um so much optimized in the sense that i wanted to leave the let's say the logic slide by slide what each slide is doing when i click on one arrow either the right or the left because maybe you, let's see in the screen but what's happening when on my section, you see there is a data label and the data label is changing when I'm clicking or using the keyboard. So data label two for will show the slide two. The data label three will show the slide four and do other things on the other slides. So that is done with uh, JavaScript. But for the moment, let's look at the CSS. So, um, as I said, so when there is the data label one that is put on the section, then the Nishinomiya slide one is the main one, the big one. So translate x zero scale one and border radius zero pixel. Um, when the data label one, the slide two, is slightly on the left, uh, sorry, on the right, and the scale of 0 0.5 with a border radius of 10 rem, and the overflow is hidden, so we can't see we can't see the corner properly, and there is a certain z index to correspond with the other slides, so. In that case, Z index three, so it's above the main slide. So the text also has an opacity of one, because I set the text for each um, uh, for the text wrapper. I put an opacity of zero, so by zero by default it will be zero. So in my CSS, I'm just saying when this slide is the main one the opacity is one for the text so we can see the title 
the text and the button. And then when the data label is one, the, the Nishinomi slide three and Nishinomi slide four are translate 100% uh, on the right on the x axis. Also, the scale is 0 0.5. Still, it kept the 10 RAM border radius, the overflow, and the Z index because we don't care so much. Enfin, uh, we care, but it doesn't have to be on top. Then, when we move to slide number two, same, the data label two, the slide number two will come become the main one. The slide number three will become the next one. The text wrapper will have an opacity of one. And the slide one um, will be below. Uh, because if I don't put the slide below, there will be nothing uh, when, when I press the button on the left on the right, there will be nothing below the um, the slide on the right. So it's to always keep keep uh, something below the main main uh, slide. So in that case, it should be the slide number one. And the slide number four is completely on the right. Then on slide three, same approach. Slide three becoming the main one. The slide four is the next one. We are showing the text wrapper of the slide three with an opacity of one. The slide two and one are below uh, the main one. So it shows something when we are moving the slides. And the slide four, the sl last slide is slightly different because there is no next slide. So that's the CSS. Uh, one is data label for <coughs> the uh, slide four is becoming the main one. We show the text wrapper with an opacity of one and all the other slides are below. So there is also a small um, trick that I found on the net. So uh, because on Safari uh, browser, the uh, if you have a border radius and an overflow hidden, the 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 effect the transition will will not work. So just add this small line of CSS, and uh, that make properly working in Safari browser for the uh, border radius transition. And then there is the script. So that's the old one. We don't need. I don't need it anymore. So basically, the script is um, analyzing uh, what we do with the arrows. So it will give a plus one on the starting index of one. So when I press the right arrow, the data label one will become data label two up to four because I put a limit according to the number of slides there is in uh, the section, find the section in, in the documents. So normally the JavaScript is automatic. You will have not to modify the JavaScript uh, to make it work. You will just have to change the CSS if you want one slide less or, or more or more slides depends on what, what your what are your needs uh, what's doing else is also uh, making a focusable element for visibility for the button inside the the uh, wrapper so that's for accessibility so also the slide that are uh, not visible will have the area hidden true 
and when it's visible we have the area hidden false uh, that's it there is i also added just for the sake of other purposes potentially i'm adding also to the slide which is visible the active class and uh, that's it then there is the the javascript also for the keyboards and basically that's it i won't explain all the full javascript uh, i think that's enough for the moment um, you will see if you are um, taking the um, json template so from this animation from, from last one i started to uh, ask for a small amount of support to to provide with the json template so there is the link in the description of the video if you want to support me to make more animation and more templates that's the good opportunity for you and for me <laughs> so thank you for watching see you at another video